Hey everyone, this is Osamu Wakabayashi from Zen Ideas. Today I'd like to show you how to create or modify a menu for profile builder for mobile devices. All right, so uh, this is um, the menu for my dashboard. Uh, this is my account page. And the problem for uh, Jet Engine Profile Builder module is uh, when you use profile menu widget here, so when you kind of squeeze that for mobile, the menu just stacks up here on the vertical. Okay, so and this is not really uh, mobile friendly. So let me show you how uh, we can improve this. I'm gonna just open up this one with a new window. And here, so now uh, instead of this, I added a new button here, menu right here. Okay, and then uh, just close that. All right, and the profile. Okay, so just open, close. Okay, this is better user experience for mobile users, right? So let me show you how I did it, okay? Now, so let's go to uh, back in here. So I have profile builder template here. So go to uh, under, I'm using Elementor. So go to under template and set template. And then now, um, so for example, I gotta probably go here. And then member profile. So I'm gonna open up with Elementor here with a new tab. And by the way, so for this tutorial, you need the um, uh, Jet menu from Crocoblock, so this plugin. All right, so let's go back to this element over here. Now, as, I, as you can see, uh, this is profile menu, okay? So when you go to uh, uh, element or widget here, so you can see uh, profile menu. So this, and as you can see this grayed out here, so I have this account menu button. So I'm using a hamburger menu for that, all right? So when you click that, it's a hamburger menu, okay? So uh, once again, so you need, uh, I'm using this jet menu plugin for this, okay? Now let's go back to dashboard here. Now, as you probably guessed, um, you need to create a menu. So go to appearance and the menu right here. So I already created uh, account menu for mobile. And here, they are all custom link, okay? Now, so when you go uh, here, I'm gonna just stretch this out. Uh, like my member profile, so you see that uh, URL here, when you go to account, so you see URL. So each tab has um, different URL, okay? So all I did was just uh, use custom link and then just copy and paste the URL. And this is just a, a font awesome icon. Now let's go back to um, Elementor here. And uh, so again, so this is, so I can just show that to you here, go to responsive and then, um, yeah, change to um, mobile device. And here, so I, cho I chose um, account menu for mobile, okay? And actually this is the one, uh, menu for mobile, I cho chose uh, account menu for mobile. All right, so this is like layout. You can just slide out, uh, drop down, push, so you can do different animation. Um, and also uh, this, you know, I have background is uh, blue and then the text and icon is white. So you can just go to uh, uh, style. I'm not gonna go through uh, detail, but you can change that different padding and then different uh, border radius and then change the color right here, okay? And one thing is uh, go, yeah, so I'm picking up uh, hamburger menu here and go to advanced. So make sure that go to responsive and then you should change the settings. So hiding for desktop, but showing this account menu button uh, is for tablet and the mobile. Okay, so same as right here. So I'm gonna just move back to desktop here. And this profile menu, go to advanced, uh, go to responsive. So make sure you change the setting. Um, this is showing for desktop and then hide for tablet and mobile. Okay, and hit just save and hit update. And once you like it, uh, you have to uh, apply to uh, all other pages too. So this is kind of time consuming. Uh, just co but you, just, you can just copy this uh, uh, menu, hamburger menu, and go to uh, uh, go back to template and then um, add calendar. Yeah, for example, this member knowledge center. So this is an account page too. So go to Elementor and then paste that. I think it's gonna be on the bottom. Yeah, so just bring this up. 
in the top right here. And then make sure uh, select profile menu, go to advance. Uh, you have to change the settings. So this is going to be hidden for a uh, tablet and the mobile and hit update. All right, so let's go to, uh, uh, sure, like if you go to the knowledge center, so it's gonna be right here, okay? And then when you stretch out, it's gonna be like that. And if you're squeezing for mobile, so this is the um, mobile menu. Again, so this is not really perfect solution, but uh, I think easy enough to uh, solve this problem. Uh, hopefully, uh, Croc Block team is gonna um, you know fix. Uh, there is some option for uh, under profile menu, and we can choose uh, both desktop and responsive. Uh, you know, should it be like a responsive layout for this specific um, widget. So, but for now, um, you know, this is what you can do. I uh, hope this helps, and I'll see you next time.